uh, I have uh, installed a new WordPress on my web server and uh, here I am going to demonstrate uh, how to use guest blocking Elite to allow your uh, website visitors to submit posts to your website and they can now uh, submit guest blogs to your website. Uh, I'm going towards uh, the plugin session step now. This is uh, WordPress Airburn and uh, I assume that you already know how to use WordPress Airburn to manage your uh, templates and uh, WordPress plugins. Uh, I'm going to install the plugin now. You can uh, go to plugins and then click add new you will have a screen there to allow, which allows you to upload plugin click upload plugin button here you can select your uh, plugin zip file and uh, then install click the install no button and it will uh, install the plugin to your wordpress website i'm selecting the guest blog elite this is the zip file containing guest blogging live plugin. Click install now. This will install the guest plugin live plugin on your website and that will allow you your users to submit guest blog posts to your website. You can even monetize your uh, website by allowing people to submit guest blog posts. Uh, uh, paid or free the plugin is uh, now finishing the installation process and now it's finished you can click activate plugin link to activate this plugin once you activate this plugin it will automatically automatically create new pages uh, for user dashboard on the front end i have clicked and now activated the guest plugin live plugin Now you can see a new menu item there, uh, which is uh, containing the word guest plugin light. It has created almost uh, seven pages once the plugin was activated, and it is, this is totally uh, automatic. And uh, now I need to go to appearance and then uh, select from appearance menu is a menu item called menu yeah the menu here you can create a new menu for your WordPress template and uh, that will allow you to drag and drop pages to let your navigation work fine with your guest blog light I have uh, named the new plugin uh, new menu item that is uh, called top menu and now our primary menu checkbox is selected. A new menu is created. Now you can select pages from the uh, left side menu and then add a menu item. This is how you can create your WordPress menu. You can see. The new menu is uh, showing there and uh, the page I dropped in the new menu now is being displayed there. Since I'm already logged in to my uh, WordPress uh, admin, uh, I can access my dashboard page on the front end so every user can sign up and then log into your uh, their, uh, WordPress dashboard on the front end. Here you can see how the front end dashboard for users are working fine and you can now add new post and submit to the website like a pro. I have uh, uh, some dummy text here and uh, need to use in my test dummy blog post. Yeah. Now title your post I can select the text from the content of the uh, post now this is how you can set featured image from front end just select or back and drop the file image file to your 
uh, image file uploader container the file is being uploaded yeah it's completed now once the file is completed you can see like this and uh, here you can insert into post and uh, this will allow the uh, image to be used as a set as uh, feature image now you can tag your post like this you can use commas to separate your uh, tags I have now submitted this post and you can see in my post is that appears like this and this is like rough draft you can delete this post or edit this post from the front-end dashboard now you can edit update this post like plugin allows you to monetize your website while allowing people to uh, submit paid guest post blog posts and uh, now you can see uh, the buttons like this on dashboard there is a second button for the right side called blogger credits now you can click blogger, blogger credits here you can uh, buy uh, blogging credits while using paypal here you can configure this uh, buying option like you need to go to uh, guest blogging light setting and then framing guest blogging now put your paper email to let uh, users pay to you for their guest blogs you can put your paper email and then uh, check the button like uh, require blogs to pay if you have uh, turned this button on this will force users to pay before they submit their posters to uh, your website now you can configure your uh, price per credit one credit is used to submit one guest blog post to your website so uh, uh, one blogging credit is equal to uh, one blog post being submitted from the users to your website the option is saved now and now you can see People need to pay before they submit guest blog posts. Now, user can select number of credits to buy and then click the PayPal button to pay for their blogging credits. Now, the page is going to redirect the user to our PayPal payment processing page because uh, I have not used it paypal email address was not configured here you can put your paypal email address to accept payments from the guest bloggers now i'm heading towards uh, dashboard this is the front end dashboard for users you can see latest 10 blog posters submitted by the current user you can see the status of the uh, posters as well now go to profile page you can edit your profile like this you can configure your social media profiles to be shown underneath your blog post now you can see uh, my post is page where all these posts are being shown this will allow users to delete or edit your posters this is the page where you can submit new posters to your blog post this is the old page like uh, we already see guest blogging credits and this is the button which will allow users to log out this page allows me to log into my dashboard from the front end now click login i'm 
uh, inside my dashboard now you can save the password as well this page allows me to log into my dashboard and then uh, I need to use a new page called register user uh, now I am creating a new menu item uh, which is so called register you can uh, head towards appearance in the menu again click the button uh, check button check boxes and uh, add to menu and save now the page is saving my configuration you can log out now and see without logging to your dashboard there are two more pages there on the menu this is dashboard which requires to log in user first this is the register new user page where user can register and uh, then they can log into their uh, dashboard this is the login page created for uh, users to log into the, their dashboard this block and light plugin allows your website users to uh, submit posts anonymously now you need to go towards um add new page there here you can uh, create new pages in your wordpress website or blog you can enter the page title there like this now uh, you can also use uh, a shortcut created by the well, guest plugin light plugin to allow users to submit posts anonymously without requiring them to log in or sign up click the guest plugin light plugin button to insert short codes from the given templates there and you can now use blogging and then anonymous post form click that's it the short code is inserted and that will um, allow you to post to uh, guest blogs to your website anonymously now the page is published you can now head towards the menu again to add that page to your menu scroll down and then click add to menu the new page is added towards uh, to your um, menu you can refresh the page and see like this uh, or you can see a new uh, menu item there called anonymous posting uh, user can click here and submit anonymously a new guest blogs to your website this doesn't require users to sign up or log in to their dashboard before they submit to uh, post this to your WordPress website. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have any sort of comments, you can post and I will be ready to um, answer as soon as possible. Stay happy. Bye.